Hey everyone, welcome to AfterBuzz TV Spotlight On. We have a very special guest, Miss Mary Beth Evans, who you know as Kayla Johnson, here to dish all things days. Stay tuned. You're tuning into the destination for TV superfan discussion, AfterBuzz TV. And now, let the buzz begin. Well, hello, all of you Days of Our Lives fans. Welcome to AfterBuzz TV Spotlight On. And as you guys know, we love to invite our cast of Days of Our Lives to come in and chit chat with us about all things days and more. And today is no exception. I am your host, Tony Moore, and I am joined by my wonderful co host, starting with the guy who is always far, 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 far over to my left. <laughs> <laughs> nothing about my hair today? Nothing about the hair today. Mark J. Freeman. <laughs> and self-appointed co-captain. <laughs> Mr. Matthew Evan Payne. Hi, everyone. Glad you're here with us. And, of course, we have the very lovely and beautiful Emmy-nominated oh. actress, Miss Mary Beth Evans. Well, you, guys, you guys make me feel special. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we have to make you feel special. You're making us feel special by being here today. Thank you. Yes, it's yes. your story. And fans have like been tweeting us and Facebooking us, and they have been uber excited to to have you in the studio so today. Exciting. Yeah. If I, if I knew how to read that stuff more, you know, <laughs> I would have got on. Uh. It will it will boggle your mind. They really? they really yeah. do. I would say, I, I and I'm not just saying this because you're here, but I would say you and Stephen Nichols are probably the two that I get the most. Yeah tweets about like it's why exciting. aren't you having them on the show yeah, yeah. Where's and, they Kayla? Think that, and they think that we're like keeping you away from the show yeah. like it's our fault that yeah. you're not here and so yeah. you can testify well most people that know us it's hard to get us wrangled to do the yes. same thing at the same time but we should bring him back you should have yeah. him yeah. Yes. Yeah. he's yeah. way more serious than me though so it's better to have me with him to kind of <laughs> Listen them up, right. really. <laughs> See, this is the inside scoop we like. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, speaking of uh, the Emmys, congratulations Thank on you. all of your Emmy nominations. All of them. So crazy. Yeah. So exciting. It's crazy. Yeah, I might have to get it. Like, yeah, you'd have to have a shelf or something for that. I um, <laughs> no, I, I have to say, I really do believe that the day I found out was the happiest day. Like, I think that's mm -hmm. the best day because everybody called. It was like it was my birthday. Everybody was yeah. like, oh, yeah. my gosh, it's so. And I was so excited because it's never happened. I've never been nominated. I've never even had a prenom. I'm nothing. Wow. Really. And, yeah, and wow. I always thought it was for the Erica Slazaks and the yeah. you know Robin Strassers. It is all for the big like the Meryl Streeps of our genre. Yeah. And uh, so to be in that category, and then with all these ladies who I actually know, yeah. I was just hiking with Cassie recently. You know. Yeah. Oh, so, we love her. We love yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. She's yes. been here. Love, 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 yes. love, love, love her. Yes. Um, but I have to say the one thing that really bugged me is I thought Kate Bancy would have been nominated, yeah. and so, I kept telling her she was going to be nominated, and mm -hmm. I kept telling her she was going to win. Yeah. So. Not only did I do that, whatever, but I just that I don't. I did the I same do not thing understand Billy. it. Yeah, I did the same you know, thing. Billy too. Yeah. 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 So I don't understand that. Yeah. But I am really humbled and excited, and I don't care if I win or I don't. But I think this part was really, really fun. This was almost like the best part of it. I think. Yeah. What was that day like when you found out? I was like, I was on my way to get my hair cut, and my manager Michael Bruno just called me, and he was kind of screaming in the phone, <laughs> you know, and, I was like, and I was like, what? <laughs> and um, so it was very exciting. And then I was at my hair thing, and I started getting thing a text. And it was funny because Mandy, my friend, who she knew about it, but then she was going to see my husband that day. And she said, do you want me to tell him? I go, no, no, I'll text him. I'll tell him or whatever. And then he came in and, and saw her, and he said uh, you know, something about the show. You know, did it happen or whatever? And then she's like, oh, God. <laughs> Did she tell you? <laughs> you should, you should go look at your text. Look at your text. <laughs> so um, anyway, he was really thrilled, and we, um, our son, got married that weekend. So that that was on a Thursday, and we were driving. Uh, we were. It was the the wedding was in Mexico, so we were driving out Thursday night, and mm -hmm. sort of jokingly, everywhere we went, like Baja Fresh or whatever. You know? <laughs> <laughs> we walk up to the counter, my husband like, oh, Emmy nominated us. <laughs> Like it was very cute. I love that. Yeah, I it, love was, that. it was really, my family's super, my daughter called me crying. I mean, everybody's just really excited. Well deserved. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Well, seriously. Well, well, I'm just very, like, touched by the whole thing. It's very sweet. And it's, just, it's very surprising to me, especially with your history in, in soaps, that this is your first nomination. I know. I, that just blew my mind. Yeah. I, you know, I mean, like, I, mine I, just blown just now. Yeah. I don't know what the reason is for that. Well, you know, I, I don't know, but no, I. But you do have to submit yourself. Yeah. And I think I had better things this year. I think I had really good stuff. I mean, oh, Peter yeah. Reckle, who I adore, came mm -hmm. back and yeah. unfortunately had to die to give right. me a good story. <laughs> um, and uh, so that was part of my submission and, and stuff with Stephen because he, he and I are so connected. So yeah. um, I think I just had some nice things to submit and 
So, I mean, I don't think you do every year. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'll say this when I when they when the news came out that you were being put on contract that you weren't just going to be. I always and I always felt that way. I always felt like Kayla was just kind of like there for family engagements and stuff, which was very frustrating because mm-hmm. I really loved and I and I said this. I think I said this to you guys at Day of Days um, that first episode when Steve um, or, came back uh, in the elevator came back and he walked and it ended with him going hi sweetness. I learned I completely yeah. forgot that he called you sweetness right. yeah. and I was just like. <laughs> so I, I was so glad that you guys you, they have yeah. you guys I love your house can we just oh, yes. that is yeah. my favorite yeah. set on the show hands yes. down like and how about that I never had my own house I know right. See, right. I, and I said I, I'm glad that you're getting the recognition I'm glad that, that and we had Joe um, James Estevic here not too long ago and I just said I, the three of you together is just so oh, I literally last of it last of it yeah. right yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah he's a doll baby I'll he? just find yes. myself oh, smiling yeah. you know at the TV yeah. I'm like Every yeah. time. I love it. Well, so. you know what's been really great this last year has been that uh, Albert Alar, the producer we have there, who is a, a, just a love for us, his sort of thing was, and, and the way they wrote it too, was to treat it like we are now, as mm-hmm. the couple of this age yeah. and of, of this history. Oh, it I wasn't like, like we were trying to reinvent oh let's fall in love again right and I think that was so brilliant yeah. and so great now, that, knowing that now yeah. makes it even more because if we could special. really explore more a mature relationship mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. that maybe something that would be so incredibly dastardly that you could never get up, get ri- over you can kind of get over because you're a little more mature and you yeah. ha- are a little more sensible than just slamming the door and leaving a goodbye and never talking to you again so right. that part's been wonderful and to have a son on the show you know uh, Shelly Henning who played Stephanie was our other doll baby that we love so much and mm-hmm. um, she is you know doing her own thing on being a superstar in CW or whatever <laughs> she is <laughs> yeah. but um, so then it was so great that they brought this guy yeah. on because yeah. he um, there's just a certain kind of person that is a Patch and Kayla kid. And yeah, that's him. Totally. Yeah. Yes. They cast totally. him perfectly. Really, really yeah. great. Yeah. Yeah. It's been great. Yeah. And, I mean, speaking of, the, the, you guys have endured a lot, the, the okay. Johnson family. The, it's been a busy year. It's been a very busy yeah. year. Yeah. Um, how has that been for you and working through these storylines and the things that you've had to, done, uh, had to do this past year? Uh, some things were crazy. Yeah. Like to have our son actually smother someone. Right. Right. I still haven't recovered from that. Yeah. And I and and but what's nice too is oftentimes on a soap you're it's a it's a morning of something for about a second and then you're mm-hmm. on to the next thing. So it's nice that that, that this problem kind of keeps you know we at least talk about it for a while. You know, yeah. at least mm-hmm. is a something. It doesn't just disappear. Right. Right. So right. I, I appreciate that. But. Um, but you know it's a daytime TV, so we yeah. need drama. We need that's what we thrive on drama, yeah. right? Yeah. But. Um, I think it's, you know, this is the way it is, but you get to be happy for like a day. Yeah. And then yeah. the next thing happens. <laughs> right. So, but you know, now we have, I mean, I love Josh as a writer. I think that it, I'm surprised he didn't get nominated for an Emmy because I thought his stuff was really interesting. Yeah. But um, now we're, Dina's back is the head. And so we're into a new thing and who knows. And, yeah. it, it, you know, our job is to try to make it work. And that's what we try. But Stephen yeah. and I, you know, we, we work on stuff. We, you know, we when we arrive that day, we run, 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 run our stuff a million times. I mean, for any actor, they should, follow that example because that's I mean really that's all we do is run yeah. it run it run it talk about it we're not um, offended if we say you know if you said it like that we better or or if you just or one of us just starts laughing at the other person because it sounds so absurd what you're saying right. like yeah. okay we got to fix this so yeah. so uh, we work really really well together and so mm-hmm. for us it's been a joy I mean that's all we ever wanted was to be back together we think of days of our lives as our home our family yeah and so for us to be reunited was just heaven for both of us. We've just been ecstatic this last year. You said that at the Day of Days also that he was there when your one of your children was born. Well, he wasn't actually in the room. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, but, well, it's funny though. Actually, when I was pregnant, so you said it. Yeah, no, me, no. I'm when I was pregnant with my daughter, uh, yeah. which is this Stephanie birth. Yeah. Um, they Shelley uh, Curtis, who now is lit back, but she it was a producer at the time, and she said, "Okay, this great idea. We're going to come to the delivery room. Your husband, your husband can be like the orderly, and Stephen oh, will be there, and we'll funny. shoot the birth." And I so I go home like, "Honey, they have this great idea," and you know, like <laughs> he just looked at me like. Are you out of 
your total mind? It's <laughs> not happening. This is private. Absolutely and not. So uh, he came to, to he, as soon as I got home, yeah. which was pretty quickly, he came to my to, house. And yeah. he had a cold or something, and he brought a little doctor mask. I mean, I, I'm sure I have a picture somewhere in my thousands in a box. And he just sat there with this little tiny baby with his He is um. the most, like, gentle, sweetest. He Anytime we have a break now, he runs to Colorado to be with his grandkids. And mm-hmm. his... Um, daughter will go do whatever he goes I just had I just all day like he was the manny he was just the guy wow. with the kids so he's a very very I know he seems gruff and all that but he's not yeah. he's not really that person you can tell you guys had a chem- have even when you were together at Day of Days you could tell that there was this no we're very very good friends relationship mm-hmm. which isn't always the case for super couples oh gosh no. that's the truth <laughs> oh no no I know we a won't lot of say like names yeah. no, but I know a lot of people like yeah. that so no yeah. I think we're very lucky but we you know we're kind to yeah. each other yeah, yeah. that's great it's obvious too. Yes. Oh yeah, and that that was one thing I I noticed even on screen. I was gonna say you've been around there. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we're very we're good friends. I mean, yeah, we're not. There's not off stage. We're like, oh, we're, hi. Yeah, yeah. No, we don't do that. And even even uh, I noticed you guys when you guys were at Day of Days, and I, I I was just in awe because I was like that chemistry is even yeah there it's off screen, evident. and it's just like it just works all the way around. Well, I so think we I mean I think we love each other, but we also care about each other. Yeah, mm-hmm. care yeah. you know, so we just take care. Yeah. What since you you've been in in soaps for many years? What, 30. 30. 30. Yeah. Wow. yeah. You know, and and I started uh, Days of Our Lives in nineteen eighty six, and this nineteen here we are two thousand sixteen. So yeah. yeah, crazy. What what do you find are the are the challenges of being a, a soap actress, or if there are? Well, any? I'm trying to be skinny. No, <laughs> that me, never I works. The, as I, I present you with I have pizza the same rolls. Issue. <laughs> Same issues. Yeah, you don't look like it. No, I don't believe that. Oh, listen, it's, I'm like David Copperfield. This is all an illusion. <laughs> <laughs> Loose clothing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's the one thing. Like everybody there is super, super skinny, and mm-hmm. so, and I'm not really. But you know, I, I try to kind of like not let it complete. I'd probably be really let it go if I didn't have that to kind of keep me back, coming yeah. back every couple of weeks to get it together. Um, I'd say really, truly, the 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 only challenge. Not only challenge, but the main challenge is memorization. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that's sort of the burden of the whole story, you know, yeah. because it's it's fun. I mean, I couldn't. I I go. I walk in the building, and I'm so thankful. And I, I kind of like look up. I always say, but I walk in there, just like, oh, thank you. That's because oh. I just think I'm so lucky. I'm yeah. so lucky. Yeah. Yeah. There's about five of these jobs left, and mm-hmm. then I'm in a main family on a great show, mm-hmm. and. Um, you know, I wish it would go on forever. I wish I was Francis Reed, and I would just I'd die before it ended. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, I don't know if that, I don't know how that's Never know. But Never know. Let's hope that's not. Well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be, be old. I want to go really old. We're gonna be wheeling you into After Buzz. <laughs> yeah. Get her in here. <laughs> but um, I mean, I think they used to pick her up at a, from assisted living or something. Oh, like, wow. You know, wow. and then there's a couple of people like that. So yeah, it's pretty amazing. Yeah. But um. I, so I think that is really the, I forgot where we were on, it was just about the, the burden of memorizing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. because yeah. that part's hard. And I, I bet it is because with, with soaps, you have to be, and we've talked about it with other people, that you have to be so, like, with the dialogue, especially when you're recalling something else or a storyline, you mm-hmm. keep having to, to be very specific with that, that dialogue well, sometimes. Well, the, the one thing, the reason you kind of do is because they edit as they go. And yeah. they, so they kind of follow the script mm-hmm. and the, some, the director's in the booth tapping and then mm-hmm. the guy over here, the whatever they call it, he technical dude is changing the cameras. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> and it then, actually says that in the credits. Yeah, so, yeah, technical dude. Yeah, so they kind of edit as they go and then they yeah. sweeten it up and fix it. In fact, that one, I had that punch with Ava. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. oh, my gosh. I went and thanked the editor because I was like, oh, my God, you made that look so good. <laughs> yeah. It looked so good. And I was kind of yeah. you know, laughing half the time, like, oh, God, I'm going to be so dumb. But I actually love those scenes. I love when I attacked her. I thought that was oh, hilarious because yeah. that's good. so not me. I thought that was so funny. Actually, that week, uh, I give out my official Three Snaps Award. Um, yeah. And you got it for that oh, good. week because yeah. I, I love that you just... Went for her. You yeah, were going so like, funny. I'm just so sick of her. I'm mm-hmm. not gonna do the usual like daytime slap. Yeah. I'm just gonna punch her. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I love Tamara. She is like, one, have you had her on here? No, no not yet. Oh, we're we're crossing our fingers for her. Yeah. she's one of the coolest people ever. Yeah. And uh, so she took it. She, and she sold it. I mean, she's way, she's way more. Her and Kate Mancy, I would think, were way more actresses than me. Like they're like studied and they think about these things. Where I'm just like winging it, you know. Yeah. But um, she's but sometimes a, she's so great. winging it what? really. 
I don't it know. Comes, it, it, it comes you know? across as natural. Yeah. Like it, yeah. when you may consider it winging it, but we look, we see you as that that character, and we mm-hmm. see that you're very settled into that person, and you know who that person is. Mm-hmm. So it's it's almost just kind of like what they do as far as study and everything like that. You right. just know this character, yeah. so you know what to do with it. That's that. interesting. Like you said too about the dialogue and whatever. A lot of times, things that we're talking about, we actually did it. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of cool because. You're recalling a story, but it actually you did it on yeah. the show, so right. that helps. <laughs> yeah. Right. What's bad is when you have a big paragraph and it's like a bunch of names, and you don't really have faces with the names. Yeah. And that part's really hard. Yeah. But they you so you have the problem too if you don't really memorize it like it's written, mm-hmm. or as you've changed it and given the changes. Mm-hmm. Um, is that if they were to say, can you say it is written? Now there's like 40 people standing there in a time clock and I get so nervous I, and I'll do it like three times. They're like, no, no. And then finally I do it and I go, and they're moving on. I said, well, did I get it? They go, no. <laughs> so, there's something about them, like identifying a couple words totally freaks me out and I yeah. can't, um, yeah. I can't get it. When you were, when you went for Ava, when you knocked her out, you still stayed true to Kayla, to sweet Caleb, we still felt for you. Um, when you were on General Hospital playing Catherine Bell, you were <laughs> polar opposite. <laughs> I blocked all that out. <laughs> I only remember my sweet romance with uh, Tyler Christopher. And he's up for an Emmy, and I hope he wins, because I think he's awesome. But no, I, I don't, I, I, you know, I never really, that was my problem with General Hospital. I loved the show, but I just never really believed that I was a bad person, so. Yeah. I mean, I guess it was enjoyable. okay. I was there for that. seven years, so I guess it was okay. Was General Hospital the show that um, Stephen Nichols was on with you, too? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. I, was, I knew you were a couple on yeah. two shows. We were a couple, kind of, but it depended on the writer. And then another writer would come, and all of a sudden, we're brother and sister. It was oh. always like... <laughs> I don't sounds think they, like days. I don't, <laughs> I don't think they capitalized yeah. our relationship so much. Got it. One Got phone it. call can change a, a whole family history. Exactly. Well, that was the truth, and yeah. that's kind of what happened. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of phone calls, do uh-huh. we have anybody calling in? Well, just a reminder to all of our fans, if you would like to call and ask a question to the le- very lovely Mary Beth Evans, you can give us a call here live in our studio at 424 256 1633 in just a few minutes. So we will, uh, we'll, but not right now. Not right, right now. now. <laughs> we'll, we'll let you know and, uh, when you can, but just keep that number on your speed dial because as soon as we are allowed to, you can call in and ask your question live here in our studio. <laughs> they have a caller. Oh, oh so. okay. We're all good now. So <laughs> welcome to live TV. Um, we have a caller on the line. Hello, caller. Welcome to AfterBuzz TV Spotlight On. You are on live. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hey, this is Cindy, and I'm calling from Huntington Beach, California. Hi, Hi Cindy. Oh, I went to Huntington you? Beach High School. You probably Yay. know that. No, maybe. I did. I have it written down. <laughs> yeah, I, did. I went to Huntington Beach. I went to Huntington Beach High School. Hail, hail to Huntington. Yeah. Cindy, you are on live with Mary Beth. What's your question or comment for her? Well, first of all, I just want to congratulate you on your not one, but three Emmy nominations. That is so awesome. <laughs> Thank you. And you have been golden to us fans since day one. So Thank we are just you. so happy for you. Thank you so uh, much. My question is, this fun, you had so many heartfelt and really emotionally demanding scenes with when, um, when was Peggy, this, when did you Peter, say? Oh, just over the year. and yeah. camera. Mm-hmm. How did you prepare for those, and how did you um, read it? Um, well, you know, the thing for me is this. I have found in my acting life that uh, I have to put myself in a, just in a, in a mood, sort of. Like, I, I, I think usually more of things that are loving. Like, I, I can remember one time I thought of this great picture of my youngest son when he was maybe like six and he was on a t-ball team with his very best friend and it was this photograph of his arm around his friend and they're both in their outfits and just the one kid's look and my son like I love this guy so much I'm so proud he's my friend I would just think of that picture and it would almost make me cry because it was just so sweet Mm -hmm. so that usually something like that I shouldn't give my secrets away something, (laughs) something like that something loving something something I just to get myself sort of just focused because I am a ball in a pinball machine and all over the place and talking right before and what? What are we doing? Oh geez. So I just have to kind of focus on this concept of just emotional something. But luckily for me, I I love those people. All those people that you mentioned have mm-hmm. been they're like cousins or whatever to me. I've known most of them for thirty years. And mm-hmm. so for me with my mother and Peggy who I love, the just the the concept of a Alzheimer, I, I was I was a I was uh, crying, teary in our rehearsals, mm. and the same with Peter. I adore Peter, and we 
have had a great, um, every time we've ever had scenes together, we've always been very connected. And so I just sort of, I just sort of get in a frame of mind, but then I just listen to what's going on and I pay attention to what's going on. And I, and I just know, I know Kayla so well, and I'm a huge fan of Kayla. You know, I mean, I'm a huge fan of Days and Patch and Kayla. I'm a huge, I'm just so into it that I get sucked into the story and I, I just let it kind of uh, engulf me, I guess, and go with it. Mm-hmm. And then it seems to work. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you. Certainly Cindy. there's times it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, Cindy, for, for calling in. And uh, please continue supporting us here at After Buzz TV on Dishing Days every Sunday at uh, 4 p.m. And over the course you of betcha. the years. Thank you. Thank you, caller. Thank you. Bye-bye. Huntington Bye. Beecher. <laughs> <laughs> over the course of the years, what's been your favorite storyline? Is there one? Are there a couple? I, you know, I always say this, but I think it was Emily and Gideon, just because, you know, you, we wore costumes, and we went to mm, Charleston, mm-hmm. and we had, um, you know, it was just so, and our little accents that were probably bad, but um, <laughs> but I just felt, I felt we were in a movie, yeah. and we were just so in it, and it was just us, and we don't, do, you know, it was a one and only time I ever went on location, besides mm-hmm. Universal Backlock for mm-hmm. um, Stockholm, Sweden, in the very beginning, we went oh, there. Yeah. Other people were going to, like, Greece, and we were like, oh, we'll be going up uh, the road. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, like, so at least it was a little location, and it was just beautiful and um, and we were just you know when you're doing it like a movie anything you just are yeah. so into it and it's so fun but the costumes and and also gave the characters a chance to have a love story again to fall in love again and yeah. so th- whatever those times we can do that that's very cool was there ever one that was difficult like a storyline that was that was a little more difficult or challenging for you um, I I, I <laughs> I can't remember exactly, but I do remember when, I think it was always when Stephen had other girls. Like, oh, yes. when there was the Marina character. Was that her name, Marina? Yes. Hunter uh, Tylo. Marina... Hunter Tylo. Was it Toscano? Yes, oh. Marina mm-hmm. Toscano. I had, I had to hear him. Nope. We're days fans <laughs> here. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, her, or when uh, Tamara came the first time. Yeah. You know, I, I mean, I didn't like those things. Yeah. yeah. You know. But, um... I can't think of anything off the top of my head that yeah. I was just waiting for it to end. I can't remember that. Yeah, it's, it's so funny when I when I look back at at all the things that that Kayla and uh, and Patch had been through uh, throughout the history. Uh, you bring up Marina, and it almost reminded me of Ava because it, it's like you guys went through that with Marina, and then years later you're going through it again mm-hmm. with Ava. So mm-hmm. I was like, that. That's you got to watch out for those kind of girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. gotta gotta keep your good eye on them. Or <laughs> Kayla might be good out. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, that's new. I didn't do that back then. I, you know, I have to say I love this one person who Instagrams. It's Patch and Kayla. I guess is that the name of it. Yeah. yeah. I lo- I love. So I actually follow that because I love getting these <laughs> clips of these old clips of ours. Yeah. Yes. I, and I don't remember them. And yeah. I just, and it's like, oh, I love this. Um, but the one thing I really hate is how breathy and high stand. Oh, I was so like that <laughs> back then. <laughs> so I don't think she would have punched anybody back then. Not she was too weak. So yeah. it took me 30 years to get But that's who get we fell in love with. Yeah. yeah. That's but, yeah. Kayla we fell in love with. But Kayla has experienced life now. Right. So right. That's what so I'm saying. I, I'm glad that I have matured and the character has matured. Yeah. 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 I was going to say, we, were, we talked a little bit about this on our show. Uh, the recap show about Tamara coming back, and I, I was actually personally a little frustrated that mm-hmm. she wasn't that she was gone so quickly. Yeah, I felt like, and I feel like they keep doing that recently. Is yeah. they keep bringing these two back? We expect all this, mm-hmm. and now she's gone, and I'm just like, in the blink of an eye, I was loving it. Yeah, I she's loved so good. Yeah, yeah, it was just such a good yeah. and just the whole build up of like this elaborate plan that she had and then it was kind of like oh that's why she did all that planning yeah Yeah. i know it just seemed like it really kind of was like here it goes oh Oh. yeah and now she's gone (laughs) i have no input on that right yeah i'm not a writer (laughs) i just like like page three you know, I don't yeah. Know. yeah. Well, if you're ever looking for a new team of writers, we seem to be. We, we yeah. seem really? to be pretty well, good sometimes. They should have a, you know, maybe they do have a team like you guys, but they, but people who know the history, that's yeah. really, yeah. Cool. especially when it comes to flashbacks. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I love when people pull out some. Oh, stuff. those are the yeah. best. Yeah. Yeah. They really are, and that was one of the things when the new when um, Josh and Dina first came back mm-hmm. that I think we were all digging was they kept yeah. doing a lot of flashbacks, yeah. and and I and I even said we were just talking about um, the people that Instagram the old videos when you guys come. I, you know, I'll go on YouTube and I'll type in, you know, Patch and Kayla and yeah. look through old scenes and I'm just always like, no, I, know. I love, love that they did that yeah. too. Yeah. Those flashbacks were great. Yeah. But it was nice too for people to see sort of the progression of our love story, mm-hmm. which was nice. I love, I just love seeing, uh, Stephen back then too, he was just so, 
he had such a tude. You know? <laughs> Everything was, you know, and yeah. I love that. And I, I really loved him I do more as Patch than the character on General Hospital because mm -hmm. Patch has all, it's just got so many things going on. You know, mm -hmm. he's, he's so sensitive, but he's kind of tough, but it's kind of fake, but he's this, but you know, yeah. so yeah. it's all these things. So I, yeah. I really like that character. Does he call you sweetness in real life? He calls me baby. <laughs> really? More. Yeah. More. I Instagram a cute thing where he's just like, baby, 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 baby. Like, that's more him. Like, baby, <laughs> baby, let's do this. Baby, baby. Yeah, he's more baby. See, I'm surprised that you, you were saying that you're not on Twitter and Instagram that much, but I'm always seeing, like, Instagrams. I'm like, whoever's doing it, doing do, a good job. Because no, no, I'm I like, do, she's do, on all the time. No, I do Instagram. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Oh. So no, that is you. I just Twitter. I'm just, I, you know, I, I don't exactly know yeah. how to, I mean, I have a few people that I see, and I comment on the few people I know, but I don't know how to get the whole picture. Right, yeah. You know? right, yeah. No, that's, I, 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 as, since you well, guys if anybody says anything bad, I'm like, oh. Can't take that. Yeah, so no, you can't read that. No, well, no, but Instagram I like because like yeah, I just put some of my roses are blooming. And, yeah, you know. well, I like yeah. it because you guys always are putting like the behind the scenes yeah. stuff, which yeah. is what we always like right. to see. Live for it. We always yeah. love right. that. Yeah. Well, we do have a caller um, who is ready to ask you a burning question. Okay. I'm sure. Okay. Hello, caller. You are on live on Afterbus TV Spotlight on. What's your name and where are you calling from? Michelle, and I come from New York. Hello, oh, Michelle hello. from Michelle. New York. Hi. You're on live with uh, Mary Beth Evans. Do you have a question or comment for her? Oh, just that I've been watching days probably since I'm 12 and I'm 55. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I've been there a long time. I guess I time. wasn't there in the beginning. I'm trying, to think. I'm, I'm trying to add the numbers up. No, no, I wasn't there when you were little. Okay. No, I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, I just w I didn't know. I was trying to find this on my TV, the Dish and Days. Is it on the television? No, we, no. we are not on television, although we would like oh. to be. <laughs> um, but you, oh. you can always find us on on, okay. on the YouTubes and uh, <laughs> make sure you if you have Facebook or Instagram or Twitter uh, make sure you find us on there we always post our, our links for our shows yeah. and everything like that so that way you can keep up so that way when we have guests like uh, Mary Beth come in you know exactly when to tune in I feel like we're on TV yeah, yeah. yeah. feels okay. like TV yeah. we're, we're, we're well I started version. on Instagram because I follow you on Instagram oh, Mary Beth yeah I just started a year I mean really I started a Thanksgiving a year ago Thanksgiving and that was my nephew and my my daughter, I think. And then I'd get uh, you know emails from them saying, "No, no, the hashtag goes here." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like trying to yeah I don't I don't get the hashtag stuff either. But it's just to follow my my family and my kids. And right. then I right. saw Days. I said, "Oh, let me follow this." Right. I've just been with Days for so long. It's it's pretty scary, <laughs> but it's I great. Me too. Uh, my girlfriend too. We watch. That's like our discussion, and everybody laughs because it's been going on for years and years. Mm, and years. I love <laughs> that though. That that's it. That's what it's about. My mother. I was just talking to my mother today, and she lives in assisted living, and she was just saying that. She, how could it ever leave? How could it ever go? Because everybody, it's such a big thing, and mm -hmm. all of her friends, and they all uh, watch it. They talk about it, and generations talk about it. And I love that. And when we do the Day of Days, and there'll be the lineup of the little tiny, sometimes a Kayla, which mm -hmm. is really cool, <laughs> and the and the families, and the mom and the grandma, whatever, and they, everybody watches it. I mean, I think that's just the coolest thing. Yeah. Yeah. It feels like my girlfriend and I say it feels like family. Right. <laughs> no, and that's why I'll be in but, public and somebody will call me Kayla, and I know, and, and I know they call because they feel like I am family. They yeah. Don't, so yeah. Well, yep, we do. Is it going? It's not going to go off the air, is it? Are they? Well, no. They, they just got to pick. They just, just got to pick renewed. up. So yeah. we're good. Yeah. So, uh, we're but we gotta get get your friends, get everybody watching. Yeah. That's right. That's well, what keeps us Okay, years. we will. <laughs> well, thank, thank you. you so much thank for you. calling in. Thank you. And, uh, okay, great. Thank bye bye. You. Bye bye. I was at a party with a girlfriend of mine named Kayla, mm -hmm. and I asked her if she was named after <laughs> Kayla Brady from Days of Our Lives, and she said, "I don't know." And she texted her mom and said, "Am I named after Kayla from Days of Our Lives?" And her mom wrote back, "Maybe," with a smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that funny? And you find out as a grown-up, right? Yes. Like they right. never talked about it. Never exactly. asked, right? Mm -hmm. It's funny. My my husband's a doctor, and he's had a patient before that was named Kayla, and he said, you know, let's a few times actually, but he said, you know, like, how did you get this name? He goes, "Well, man, my mom watched soap operas," and, and then the mom. <laughs> was from out of town and she came in again when this girl had another appointment and um, he goes oh my gosh you have to come over here and meet her oh, and I did so it was amazing. so cute because she had kind of like the haircut I always had yeah. Yeah. And I just that was very sweet we took a bunch of pictures it was very That's cute great. Yeah. Yeah. have you had any other um, fun interesting fan encounters because we we know some people have had some very interesting crazy ones. moments not 
don't think so. Just, I mean, it's yeah. always been very positive. Oh, good. good. And you know, in LA, I mean, I'm such a small fish in LA. You know, mm -hmm. if I go somewhere, you know, where it's not so commonplace and yeah. they're not used to seeing anybody from yeah. TV, then it's a bigger deal. Yeah. Airports, and uh, you know, I'm not going to name a place what that would be, but somewhere, <laughs> somewhere not here. <laughs> Savannah, yeah. somewhere not LA. Yeah, yeah. Savannah yeah. Yeah. Airport. Yeah, yeah. here, here, you're just like small potatoes. I don't care about you. Yeah, because in the previous guests that we had, like especially if they're more of a villain character. Oh, yeah. Lauren, you get those, yeah, you yeah, get those yeah. people yeah. who are just kind of like, yeah. Argh. Yeah. I think the only person that I really, is the guy, but the checker at my market. He mm -hmm. knows everything because he sees all the magazines. <laughs> yeah. And um, he will talk to me about, hey. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'd say he's the only one that's really on it. So, Do you watch the show? I, you know, if some if, if somebody tells me, oh, uh, something's happening that day or something was a good show or something like that, I will tune in. But mm. it's TiVo'd, but I have to say, I, you know, I don't normally but when when Kate Mansey when their story was so hot mm -hmm. with the with the um, you know uh, Robert with the baby burning bed all, all that yeah. stuff right. I watched every day like, yeah, I was excellent. a huge fan yeah. Right. yeah I loved it I was gonna ask you um, a little bit about your because I was on it this morning mm -hmm. Plank blog mm -hmm. oh yes uh -huh. yes <laughs> um, and I'm excited to make your ribeye that I never thought to broil <laughs> with compound butter I've always wanted to know how to make compound butter. <laughs> Uh, if you you got to go to Cordon Bleu, but they're, actually they're closing. That's uh, really fun. <laughs> uh, but I was going to ask you a little bit about that, if you wanted mm -hmm. to um, let everybody know about your blog. How that happened? Maybe, yeah. Um, it, it really happened because I am always doing stuff. Yeah. I'm a huge gardener, huge baker, cook, you know, whatever. I love to entertain, I love to have parties. And my daughter, and advice, you know, whatever. And my daughter kept saying to me, my daughter's 26, so it's not like she's 10. <laughs> but she was saying, <laughs> you know, you really should do a blog and you should do something. And I, and then I just thought it was so daunting because I'm kind of illiterate. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, I have written for, I did write for Hybrid Mom magazine for a little while, but it was mm -hmm. the same sort of thing. But I, it was as long as there's somebody who could really edit. Right, yeah, yeah, right. And so then Mandy is a friend of mine and she said, I could do it with you and I'll edit it. And so it's become now actually very collaborative because a lot of times she'll say, so what's your thoughts this week? I'm like, I don't have any. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but then sometimes I'm super inspired and I yeah. and um, I'll just sit down and but so she makes me just sound uh, literate. What was, it was <laughs> punctuation, as she would say, and I know I'm the queen of like the dot dot dot. Like I just yeah. oh I and love then dots. I just, dot 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 because I don't really know the punctuation necessarily. So if I just do that, it kind of right. it's more like I talk, yeah. kind well, of stream I'll, of consciousness. I'll say I learned I learned a lot about you that I didn't know just mm -hmm. from the blog, and Good. I want to try one of your apple pies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know I sold three thousand in seven I, minutes. On I QC. like that. Yeah. I know. I was yeah. like wow. I had no That's idea. Amazing. How did I not know about this? Yeah, that was crazy. It was a lark. I I make this a uh, family recipe, an apple pie, and my husband got a the, he read a thing in the Wall Street Journal about mail order apple pies, and he's like, you should do that I'm like, oh yeah what if somebody ordered one what you do? <laughs> <laughs> and he said that would be a good problem you should do it so i thought i so i did and i, I actually did it for about 10 years probably oh wow. well i never ever i mean if i went on shark tank they would have laughed me up <laughs> <laughs> i never made any money but um i think it kind of kept me it kept me busy on the years that i wasn't doing much and mm -hmm, whatever yeah. and i i mean i like the creative part of it mm -hmm. the logistics are a whole other story yeah like, to mail a frozen you know like four pound pie to New York overnight is right. super expensive. Yeah. But um but then I did some little brioche shape pies for um, William Sonoma catalog and I was like their number one seller one Thanksgiving. Yeah. Wow. I, had my, I had my little successes but I never made any money. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh. Well, well it was cute. I, it was cute. I, yeah. no. And I do still have my label and my whole thing so I make cookies for people and I use my big label, you know, so I look very professional yeah. for, my, <laughs> for my chocolate chip cookies I make. Well, what, Which I watched the video. Oh, for yeah, the, it's pretty yeah. good. That <laughs> no, was, I, like, I, I swear it must have been before phones were really the way they are because I had my, my housekeeper was there one day and I, she had, I had a flip camera uh -huh. and I kept being like, Telling, okay, then we have the thing. And then she turned it <laughs> off. And then we, you know, we kind of piece this thing together. Yeah. yeah. We actually have cute. another caller. Oh, good. For the lovely Mary Beth Evans. Hi, caller. Hi, welcome. You are on Afterbus TV Spotlight On. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, guys. It's in Mary Beth. It's Anne Marie. I'm calling from New Orleans. Oh, hi. hi. How hey. are you? Do you have a question or I'm comment? Doing great. I love New Orleans. Oh, yeah. I always, thought, I always thought you couldn't, you, you couldn't go to Tulane. You couldn't go to Tulane because all those jello shots and stuff people are <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my God, kids. That's my alma mater, yeah. I'm proud to say. Oh, the party. What's your question, caller? Um, Mary Beth, you have been amazing. I've been watching as long as Michelle from New York, probably since I was 12, and I'm 52 now. And um, We're all in the 50 club. I you know, my mother in law says the 50s are the best, so. I'm so far good, I'd say yes, good. true. <laughs> now she says the 80s well, are the best. So <laughs> <laughs> you 
kind of hysterical. Oh. <laughs> my um, my question, well, it's probably multi-layered, but one, I love your relationship with Judy Evans, mm -hmm. and I haven't seen her on the show in a while. Is she? Well, I just saw her anymore? yesterday, so she is still on the show. Um, you know, it's, honestly, it's just the way the writers write. It's like mm -hmm. you're in, you're we, we we go through a period of not being there very much, and then you're there a lot, and it just, you know. I yeah. always think of us as the teacups at Disneyland. We're to the front, to the side, to the back. Yeah, to the front. Right. <laughs> so um, it just. Well, here's but she's still. Thing. I just if will tell you, she's still the, the show. writers. <laughs> what do you say? Tell the writers they haven't even had Judy and Stephen in a scene together yet, uh, and Stephen's been back on the show for how long now? Yeah. 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 Uh, well, <laughs> I'd like to say that's going to happen, but I can't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> They just have well, to keep I won't watching. Get you in trouble, keep watching. But, I mean, yeah, don't get me in trouble. From your yeah. days, from your days of playing Kayla when she went deaf mm. to mm -hmm. the Benji days, mm -hmm. all, all the days. Everybody's like, oh mm -hmm. yes, <laughs> <laughs> she's had a few problems. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, you've had, and you have a habit of you and Steve have a habit of finding young babies or children in need. Remember pockets? That was oh, quite that an interesting name. Story. Oh. Seriously. <laughs> No. Yeah, <laughs> like Michael Jackson's children. <laughs> and then, and then I have to say, since you're in your fifties, and I'll say this, we're gonna have this. Uh, we're gonna have. Um, we're gonna have uh, Joey. I was like a hundred. Uh -huh. I was like, I'm so old to be having this baby. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, now he's you know eighteen or something, but he he really it's only been like it's been like six years. I don't know how six years or less that he. I don't know how old he is, but and I kept saying like I'm super. And then, and then they had this thing where I the pushing of this preemie baby, and I kept I said to the director like, "I'm sorry, but you know I've already had a baby. I don't think I'd be pushing. I don't think it'd be this hard to get that baby out." <laughs> anyway, it was all very humorous. Um, and then I thought that they did never showed the baby. And then when I actually saw the air show of this sort of brown preemie rubber baby come, they I'm like, "Oh my god, this is so bad." <laughs> but um, you know, we do what we're given. Yeah. But we, you know, Stephen and, and I, do, we're very heartfelt people, so we like little kids. So there you go. Yeah, and and um, despite the writing, and in, in because of the writing, you guys are fantastic. Thank I'm you. You make the show. Thank you. Well, you know, uh, somebody told me this uh, that Shelley Curtis, producer, used to say when we would complain about dialogue, she goes, "It doesn't matter what you're saying; it's what's happening." Yeah. yeah. So yeah. we always try to remember that and just try to, you know, make it happen. Thank you, you for do, calling. You do a yeah. Fantastic job. Thank, Thank you. you. And Thank come you. visit New Orleans anytime. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I went there for that mother in law's 80th birthday. So, yeah, mm -hmm. I love it there. You mentioned that you're like the teacups. You you're in the Thank front, you. you're in the background, you're to the side. Do they tell you, you know, no. your storyline is about to fizzle? No? How does that happen? It just. You just get the you, trip and it's like. You get like a tentative schedule a couple, a week, or maybe two weeks ahead of time. Okay. And that's, you, yeah. So you're then, if, it's so funny. If you have. A bunch of days, and you're like, "Oh, jeez, oh my god, <laughs> yeah. I better really give this my energy." And then, you, if you don't have any, you're like, "Oh, they don't like me anymore." <laughs> yeah, so it's very, very fickle. It's very fickle. Yeah. So you just try to write it. And like I said, I have a lot of outside activities, so it seems to. I, I, my daughter Balances actually. Out. I always worked when my kids were growing up, and she says she remembers me being home. Like they don't, yeah. they don't have this thing of like, "Oh, mom was never home." They thought I was home. Yeah. So right, yeah, that's and good. Yeah, now we we're pretty quick, so we get out pretty quick, and so it's nice. And like someone with Tamara who who is no longer in the shows, do you find out when you're reading the script that she has been written out or do they say, hey, Tamara won't be back or, or whichever? Well, that particular, I knew because I was in the story. Okay. But I don't think any of us knew ahead of time. I mean, maybe she did, maybe they told her, I don't know, but I didn't know until we kind of, you know, when she came back and we were doing the whole story, I never knew that was the, the ending. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, maybe they didn't trust us with that knowledge. I don't know. I don't, <laughs> don't know why they tell, didn't tell Mary me. Beth. Yeah, yeah, she's a talker. <laughs> don't tell her. Well, we mentioned uh, digital things as we're on the YouTube's, but you uh, explored uh, the digital soap, The Bay, as oh, well. Oh yeah, um, we were for a bunch of awards tonight. Yes, too. That's you very are. Exciting. Congratulations 11. for that. Eleven. Yeah. Yeah. How how was that going from um, this new medium of like digital? Were you uh -huh. kind of worried about it? Did you not? Like how did how did you feel going into this project? Well, it's you know, it's funny because 
how it really started was uh, Gregory uh, called my uh, manager and said he, he wanted to meet me. Mm -hmm. And so we just met at this cafe in you know, East Hollywood or something. I don't know, someplace I'd never been. Yeah. And um, he's such a good salesman. I think <laughs> he talks everybody into everything. Yeah. yeah. And um, But he had said that he had thought of this story for like almost his whole life. He thought of the story and this character in particular. And then now meeting me that I was that person that he had always thought. So. Mm -hmm. When somebody and then it was the matriarch of this thing, and when, I mean, when somebody tells you all this stuff, you're kind of like, oh, <laughs> I'll do it, I'll do it. That's, I mean, yeah. so, um, but it had a you know very rough start. If anybody who watched, you know, and I remember calling him saying, oh my gosh, the sound that you can't yeah. put it up, you can't put it out. Oh, you know, and I was all freaked yeah. out. So it was a bumpy ride in the beginning, and I mm -hmm. think a lot of us who came from network TV was like, holy smokes, you can't see that person or <clears throat> or the or the sound or whatever. Mm -hmm. But they all just kept. Um, pushing forward and he's got he's got incredible stamina and incredible fortitude and and uh, he you know he stays focused on it way more than I do and, yeah. and then before you know it it's like time to shoot again like oh yeah you know where he's been really writing it and casting it and producing mm -hmm. it and looking for sponsors and so he is just amazing yeah he's very you know at it so he's you know I hope tonight he wins everything that's yeah. so cool because I, I I definitely remember the beginning stages mm -hmm. of, of the bay and it just it's a it's so great to see how a project started and how it's grown right. so much so congratulations right. to I mean you really guys in the beginning that. it was like my house and my friends houses and yeah. anybody's anything and mm -hmm. you know so um, it's grown. It's really grown yeah. now. I, I hardly, I just show up. So it's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And now you don't have to worry about sound. Right. Or, yeah, or it sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, their production qualities now are out of this world. I know it's really, I mean, really, really, their camera, the, the, the quality is just so beautiful. Yeah. And it's amazing what you can do with, because so many people are doing digital stuff now, i.e. what we're yes, doing here. Yes, yeah. And it's, it's just amazing what you can do right. digitally now. Mm -hmm. And I, it, yeah. it seems like everything is going that way. So. And I, I know when I first started um, TV, there was a soap I did called Rituals. And it was um, mm -hmm. and it was like a syndicated thing, and it was at night at first. And they didn't know where what to do with it, and it, they never knew what to do with it. Yeah. Because it was newfangled. Mm -hmm. You know, where now, look at everything. It's, everything is a cable or a syndicated or a different network or a different station or a different something or other and yes. so maybe it's the same for the web yeah and yeah. even now it's branching out and there's more you know he's not the only it's not the only one you know so mm. hopefully it's going to just keep going and they'll get more and more on the web and now they're yeah. on amazon too so that's, oh, that's kind of cool wow. yeah yeah that and that's just kudos to you guys for that i hope you guys well, do it's really great i'm telling right. you yeah yeah well you know it's a it's a to it's a, you know, it, it is teamwork, and yeah. it's very collaborative, and that's actually one of the really cool things about it. Yeah. And I think we'll take one last caller. Welcome to After Buzz's Dish and Dave's. They're not on there yet. You have to, you have to wait till they, <laughs> they click. Look, it shows a little phone. Yeah. I'm sure it's not really your phone, but... Uh, See, like, uh, right, he'll... Oh, oh there we'll it is. Take, yeah, we'll right take there. that caller right there. Woof. Hi, welcome to After Buzz TV. Thank you for the <laughs> tutorial. Yeah, 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 we're still in the lessons, yeah, yeah. lesson plans. Uh -huh. It's okay. Go we're all there. learning technology. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hello, caller. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi there. Um, my name is actually Kayla. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> were you Were you named after Kayla? Uh, uh, actually, it was a nickname, and Mary Beth had told I know me who that this I'm is. allowed to use it. So I know that's who this fine. is. <laughs> <laughs> I know who you she are, said, girl. Look at my nails. You're Kayla, look. I'm Kayla. We're all Kayla. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a question so, or comment for Mary yes, Beth? Yes. What I what I'd like to ask you is: Is there any chance in your dialogue ever that you guys get to maybe ad lib, or do you get to ever just say, "Well, maybe if we would just put this little thing in, like it'll be just like a, a little kind of ad lib for the audience type thing"? Well, not for the audience, but uh, but like I said before, Steve and I get together and we go through our scripts and we just make sure that it sounds character uh, character appropriate or mm -hmm. whatever that word would be but um so and but as long as we get the changes up to them and that's what we do we 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 don't get off the story we just correct right. the actual things coming out of our mouth so mm -hmm. we do that right. and we give it to them but if you have like, like some little you, like a carol burnett thing you want me to do or something <laughs> well, we, well tug of the ear no, yeah. no actually what i was thinking was is you were so fabulous when you played kayla drunk <laughs> That you had to have ad libbed something because it was so amazing. The thing in the in the um, cleaning closet thing? No, no, no. We're going back. Oh, to, like, geez. Yeah. Well. Yeah, way back then. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> so, and, and way, the, way the back. Cleaning, 
the cleaning closet was just as hilarious. Yeah, that was good. That was good. <laughs> I love that. It's funny, but the cleaning closet one, I'll do that because the other one I don't really remember very well, except for having right, somebody right, send me right. a clip. But um, the cleaning closet thing was funny because, and this is how it goes a lot. You get the script and you read it and you go, oh my God, <laughs> <laughs> this is dumb or I don't know what I'm going to do with it right. or yeah. whatever. And so all we could do was make sure we knew the dialogue and then we just have to like throw it back and play with each other and goof around. And there's some parts of that that I have seen that I, I love the part. I've, I'm sure I've told people this before, but I think I say to him, he's, he says something about um, his partner and something and I say, it's not me. And he goes... Yeah, maybe whatever he says. <laughs> that is just the cutest thing to me to see that when I've seen it on screen because you can just see the love he has there mm -hmm. and the cuteness right. he thinks Kayla is or whatever. And mm -hmm. I, I really, I end up really loving that those scenes in there, which I, I had a lot of trepidation because I was like, I don't know what we are going to do with this. And it really was, I mean, way smaller than this set. I mean, it was like this little teeny little space. Mm -hmm. So right. um, anyway. I, you know, when Thank you get you. when you get those things, you're always worried, and you just try to commit. It's all about that. That's all it is. It's about committing. Thank you. Thank you so you're much. You're welcome. Take we're care. Keep up the, we're going to keep up the kindness. Is there you go? Yes. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Kayla. Right. Thank you, Kayla. Thank you. So when you came, have a good one. You too. Thank you. Uh, when you came on, um, I'm not going to ask you how old you were. <laughs> Lady doesn't tell. I know. I, I don't mind. Well, you were I young. Guess, so, I mean, when geez, you... IMDB. I mean, anybody's <laughs> name, everybody. I wish I could say it was something different, but I don't really care. Um, how, what was your first day? I mean, I know it was a long time ago, mm -hmm. but do you remember any of that? And who was like, was there anybody that was there that you were like, I can't believe I'm in the same room with this person? Um, you know? Well, I didn't watch the show beforehand. Okay. And I didn't know. I was kind of a uh, all my children kid. I mean, uh, okay. and not that I even was a big soap watcher, but in high school, that was the one that I watched. And, so I didn't really know the show, and then I, but I had met Stephen, and I had done the audition, and um, I didn't think I did that well, and but I got it, and then we, um, and at the time, it's interesting. I remember going to my friend's house, who was an actress, and saying, "Geez, you know, it's a three-year thing. I don't know if I should do that. <laughs> yeah. Like that's a long time, well, yeah. you know." <laughs> And I ended up staying there for six and then right. seven to Jerusalem. You know, like yeah. I mean, that's been my life, yeah, and yeah. so lucky. But um, when the, I think the very first scenes is Stephen um, harassing me and with my nurse's cap. Is that mm -hmm. funny? That nurse's cap thing is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about like old. Right. Um, so it, it was always with him, and it's been mainly with him. And even to this day, we mainly are together. There's right. very other, the few other people. So. That's probably why you're either really close or you hate each other. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Luckily for us, we really like each other. So good. Well, out, oh, good. Uh, sorry. Excuse me. Outside of Stephen, who else do you hang out with or are friends with? You know, it's funny. I this break, we I had mm. never gone. I've never gone to lunch with. I mean, I love all the people. I've had really good friends there. I mean, right. Christian and I are super good friends. And uh, during this break, I don't know how it came about. I think Christian and I were going to maybe get a facial, and then we were going to invite our fabulous makeup gal and then I could never get the three things together so then we're like how about a hike and so that's how it started right. and then all of a sudden we had um, Kate, Manzi, mm -hmm. Cassie, Lauren you know we had all these people and and, and me and Christian and, was, I, and it was the best time we went two weeks in a row because we loved it so much yeah. wow. well let's come back next week <laughs> yeah. and then now we're back at work but um, it was so great and I thought why do I never get together I think we just all have busy lives right. yeah. yeah and but Stephen and I we get and I then on this break too I went to, on a hike with him that was on the other end of the planet like way out west <laughs> I was like oh my god okay and it was really hard I mean he really kicked my butt but um so I have a great time getting together with him I just it's just not on my radar I you know right. I, my husband's a doctor he doesn't hang out with doctors I don't hang out with actors it just yeah. We kind of just live our little life. Right. Yeah. yeah. And you posted that photo uh, for, of your hike with Stephen, and fans loved it. Yeah. And, oh, and he up. did. He did a whole. I don't know the Periscope thing. I don't know yeah. what that's oh, about. Yeah. But he did one of those too. He's like saying it's live, and I'm like, oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> Hi everyone. I just saw these little hearts right. going by the yeah. pavement. I don't know. Yeah. But um, yeah. Yeah. So. Well, we only have a, a few minutes more mm -hmm. with you. It's like time Do you always goes by. Do tap dance or something? Because so, I don't yeah. really tap dance. <laughs> no tap dance. I'll oh teach God. you. Um, <laughs> but, Shuffle ball change. So, <laughs> but with with your experiences that, that you have had in daytime and as an actress and, and everything that you, you've gone through, what's like the one thing or a couple of things that you take away from your experiences? I think... You know, mainly in this daytime world for me has been all I ever want to do from really super young, like probably five, I started doing, you know, skits and 
you know, sheet plays, shadow plays, whatever. Mm -hmm. And all through school, however I could get out of doing a actually written assignment, I'd, do, I'd say, I'll do a play, you know, whatever. So I kind of lived that whole life, and I, that's all I ever wanted to do. It was not ever for me about, I want to be a superstar. I don't think I had that kind of ambition. Mm -hmm. I have more the worker bee ambition. Mm -hmm. I just want to work. That's yeah. all I care about. And yeah. so this is a perfect thing for me, and it's been that. It's been so great for yeah. most of the time that I've just, you know, I can work three, four days a week. How great is that? Yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah. Oh, I so for me, I think that's the gift, the gift gift of the whole situation because I would rather do that than, you know, an episodic is so fun to go do, but, you know, it's a few days, and especially mm -hmm. if you're not a lead of anything, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. you're just like, oh, a day or two, and I mean, you can't really make a living even doing that anyway. So, yeah. um, But I just, also what's really cool about daytime is, um, you're so, you know, you're so relaxed. I think that's why our performances are the way they are because we're so relaxed. Yeah. I go for an audition for something, I can barely remember the four sentences. I'm like, <laughs> and then I need my glasses. It's all like, where we go there? And honestly, I could look at a page and then shoot it. I could yeah. if I hadn't seen it because you're so relaxed. Your brain is so relaxed. If I have a distraction or I'm nervous, I can't remember anything. Yeah. What is your advice to want to be soap stars or soap actors? I, well, I think I think for everybody, it's go study somewhere and mm -hmm. learn the craft of it and memorizing and and all that stuff. I think that's huge. A lot of people just kind of show up and they've never had that, and I don't think that's. I mean, it works on camera, but the process to get there, I don't think it's as good. Yeah. So, and other than that, you know, like all of us, just you know, nobody's going to find you at home. That's why I tell people, no one's going to find you at home. Yeah, that's true. You got to go out audition. You got to put yourself out there. You, I once read in Backstage Magazine that you could spend you spend forty hours a week on your craft. If you know, especially if you're unemployed, that means like right. sending out pictures, doing this thing, taking lessons, doing da da. So I haven't gotten to that point, but I do think you have to be engaged. And seriously, no one is going to find you at home. So yeah. if you don't get involved and you don't get out there and you don't get into theater in town or you don't do something, no one's no going to one find will, you. Right. Yeah. So go ahead, stay home, whatever. But no one's going <laughs> to find you. Right. Yeah. Which is one of the things that this kindness is thing that we're talking about. The one thing that gets me is when you do put yourself out there. And criticism does come to you. I always think that's so odd. Like, but nobody's doing that to you because you're at home. Do it. If we, right. if we are brave <laughs> enough. On me. Right. If yeah. We're brave enough to throw ourselves out there. You know what I mean? Right. So, mm -hmm. anyway, I just think yeah. that's my biggest uh, advice to anyone: is no one's going to find you at home. Yeah, I love that. That's great advice. But well, you guys are all here, so yeah. you don't have that problem. We're here. <laughs> we're we're trying to bring all of our favorite actors back. We're trying to get some people on the show. So. <laughs> Hashtag bring Jan back. Hashtag Maxine Sun. Yeah. Well, I don't know who those people are, but if it's anybody I know, <laughs> now, tell he's me. He's Maxine's son. He wants uh, to be. Uh, I, I, uh, I oh, like Maxine. To play Maxine. Oh, that Maxine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I thought yeah. you meant on, like that was a person's real name. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love her. I do too. <laughs> She's I do a too. doll baby. She's too. so great. She's, yeah. I, I, I've worked in my storyline. I haven't presented it to anyone yet. yet. Yeah. <laughs> but but we're, we're trying to get it there. Well, we need a suggestion box over there. Right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, and I, I, will, I, I like stuff it. that full. I like that idea. Don't let Mark get it. Do you know when Daniel Cosgrove uh, was leaving the show, mm -hmm. we all adore him. He is the cutest, yeah. sweetest, yes. funniest, irreverent guy. And we made this box with this picture all over it and whatever. And we all put suggestions in the box of why they, how they should bring him back. Uh, they didn't do what any of us said, but yeah, we were right. happy that they brought him back because he's yeah. such a sweet guy. Yeah. yeah, He's got like four kids. I mean, it's crazy. Oh, my gosh. Well, unfortunately, we've run out of time with you. I know. I'm such a chatter. I could I just sit here all day. You guys, <laughs> you guys are so fun. Well, you got a busy day. Well, yes. You have to go get ready. But, and we would sit with you all day. Thank and all so day. the fans. So, I mean, that just means. But, yeah, but all you brought were these like pizza these puffs. And I don't, I don't think any of us touched one. No, he did. Well, I, I had a couple. Yeah, he I did. tried to, but I, I couldn't reach it. So I was like, uh, I'll just I'll just wait till after the show. <laughs> but but maybe one day you can come back and and do our recap show with yes, us or something. Yes, I like yeah, that. And I'll come back with Steven. So I'll, yes. I'll, I'll keep him light for you. Yeah, yes. that'll be fun. That'll yeah. be fun. Well, um, thank you guys for tuning in thank to you. After Buzz TV Spotlight on. Before we head off, Mark, tell the folks where they can find you via social media. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Lorraine Love L O R A Y N E L O V E. And Mary Beth, where can they find you on social media? Um, Mary, Mary uh, Beth Mary Evans. Beth Evans. 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 One. Is there Mary Beth Evans, Evans one. Is there a Mary dot Beth in one. there or something? One. one. Mary Beth Evans okay, one, one on Twitter. Yeah. And, and Mary Beth Evans. I thought there was a dot somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Like Mary Beth dot <laughs> Evans. It is. Mary Beth dot Evans. Huh? See, I, was like, I, thought there, I thought there was yeah. a dot. <laughs> and there's no eyes in that name, so it's got to be somewhere in the center. Okay, I got it. And Matthew, where can they find you? You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Mr. Matthew Evan. Find me, follow me, love me. 
<laughs> and of course, you guys can find me on all Pressure. social media platforms at Lounge with Tony or my website, loungingwithtony.com. And don't forget, we recap uh, Days of Our Lives every Sunday right here on AfterBuzz TV at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And this Sunday, we have an exclusive interview with the very lovely Allison Sweeney, who you guys know as Sammy Brady. So make sure you tune into that. We'll see you next Sunday, this Sunday, for Audition Days. Wow. Thank you, Mary Beth, for being here. Thanks Thank for you. having yeah. me. I've learned a lot from you guys. <laughs> <laughs> from executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Oh, that was the views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.